Question 1. What is the primary requirement for a driver approaching a stop sign in Arkansas? A. Slow down and proceed cautiously. B. Honk the horn to alert other drivers. C. Come to a complete stop. D. Yield the right of way. Answer. C. Come to a complete stop. Question 2. What does a speed limit sign indicate? A. Both the minimum and maximum speeds allowed. B. Only the minimum speed allowed. C. Only the maximum speed allowed. D. Neither minimum nor maximum speeds. Answer. A. Both the minimum and maximum speeds allowed. Question 3. When you encounter a do not enter sign, what action should you take? A. Speed up and proceed with caution. B. Slow down and prepare to merge into traffic. C. Ignore the sign and continue straight. D. Turn around and find an alternate route. Answer. D. Turn around and find an alternate route. Question 4. What is the potential consequence for a driver who fails to yield at a yield sign in the U.S.? A. A warning from law enforcement. B. A fine of $100. C. A fine up to $1,000 and a possible license suspension. D. No penalty, as yield signs are optional. Answer. C. A fine up to $1,000 and a possible license suspension. Question 5. What does a reflective orange triangle bordered with red indicate on a vehicle? A. The vehicle is traveling faster than the normal speed of traffic. B. The vehicle is traveling slower than the normal speed of traffic. C. The vehicle is carrying hazardous materials. D. The vehicle is a law enforcement vehicle. Answer. B. The vehicle is traveling slower than the normal speed of traffic. Question 6. Why are Arkansas service signs important for drivers? A. They indicate the nearest hotels. B. They provide information about tourist attractions. C. They guide drivers to places to stop for fuel. D. They warn about upcoming traffic congestion. Answer. C. They guide drivers to places to stop for fuel. Question 7. What does the shape of a route sign indicate in the United States? A. The speed limit on the road. B. The type of roadway, interstate, U.S. highway, county. C. The distance to the next town. D. The elevation of the road. Answer. B. The type of roadway, interstate, U.S. highway, county. Question 8. What type of information do destination signs typically provide? A. Information about nearby restaurants. B. Directions to the nearest gas station. C. Directions and distance to various locations. D. Upcoming traffic conditions. Answer. C. Directions and distance to various locations. Question 9. What is the primary purpose of railroad crossing warning signs in the United States? A. To indicate the speed limit near railroad tracks. B. To warn drivers of the possibility of a train. C. To provide information about nearby tourist attractions. D. To mark the location of a future railway station. Answer. B. To warn drivers of the possibility of a train. Question 10. How long can a driver's license be suspended for failing to yield at a yield sign? A. 30 days. B. 90 days. 
c. 180 days, d. 365 days. Answer c. 180 days. Question 11. What should you do when the red lights are flashing at a railroad crossing, even if no train appears? A. Cross the tracks cautiously. B. Continue driving without stopping. C. Wait until the red lights stop flashing. D. Do not cross. Answer. D. Do not cross. Question 12. What does a white X-shaped sign with black letters at a railroad crossing indicate? A. You should proceed without stopping. B. You should yield the right of way to the train. C. You should speed up to clear the tracks. D. You should make a U-turn. Answer. B. You should yield the right of way to the train. Question 13. What do parallel red lights that flash alternately at a railroad crossing indicate? A. No train is present. B. A train is present. C. The crossing is closed for maintenance. D. The crossing is closed due to bad weather. Answer. B. A train is present. Question 14. What do warning signs at a railroad crossing with multiple tracks indicate? A. The speed limit for trains. B. The number of tracks and the possibility of multiple trains. C. The distance to the next train station. D. The schedule of train crossings. Answer. B. The number of tracks and the possibility of multiple trains. Question. 15. When crossing more than one set of railroad tracks, you should A. Wait until the train is well down the tracks. B. Cross immediately after the first set of tracks. C. Cross as soon as the crossing gates start to close. D. Cross when you see the train approaching in the distance. Answer A. Wait until the train is well down the tracks. Question 16. What is the primary reason for the requirement that school buses stop at all railroad crossings? A. To allow the train to pass first. B. To set an example for other vehicles. C. To ensure the safety of children on the bus. D. To prevent damage to the bus's tires. Answer. C. To ensure the safety of children on the bus. Question 17. What is the primary purpose of a minimum speed limit on a highway? A. To encourage slower driving. B. To reduce traffic congestion. C. To set a fixed speed for all drivers. D. To ensure a safe and efficient flow of traffic. Answer. D. To ensure a safe and efficient flow of traffic. Question 18. When encountering the described traffic signal sign, what should a driver do if the light is red? A. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. B. Continue driving at the current speed. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. D. Ignore the signal and proceed cautiously. Answer. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. Question 19. What does the merging traffic sign indicate to drivers on a major roadway? A. Expect traffic entering your lane from the left. B. Prepare to merge into the right lane. C. Speed up and maintain your current lane. D. Expect traffic entering your lane from the right. Answer. D. Expect traffic entering your lane from the right. Question 20. This sign means A. One-way traffic ahead. B. Two-way traffic ahead. C. A divided highway ahead. 
D. A merge point ahead. Answer. B. Two-way traffic ahead. Question 21. What does this sign mean? A. Merge into the left lane. B. Speed up and maintain your current lane. C. Slow down and come to a complete stop. D. Exit the roadway immediately. Answer. A. Merge into the left lane. Question 22. What does this sign indicate to drivers in Arkansas? A. The location of the nearest school. B. A designated area where school buses stop. C. A school zone area where special rules apply. D. A recommended route to the school. Answer. C. A school zone area where special rules apply. Question 23. What does this sign indicate to drivers? A. The beginning of a multi-lane highway. B. The start of a one-way road. C. A merge point with another roadway. D. A divided highway with a median or barrier ahead. Answer. D. A divided highway with a median or barrier ahead. Question 24. This sign means A. A nearby park or recreational area. B. A designated area for cyclists. C. A crosswalk where pedestrians may be crossing. D. A detour ahead for vehicles. Answer. C. A crosswalk where pedestrians may be crossing. Question 25. What does this sign warn drivers about? A. Road construction ahead. B. Slippery road conditions in wet weather. C. A detour in the road. D. Ignore the sign and continue as usual. Answer. B. Slippery road conditions in wet weather. Question 26. This sign means A. The distance to the nearest gas station. B. The maximum weight limit for vehicles on the bridge. C. The height of the bridge above the road. D. The upcoming exit on the highway. Answer. C. The height of the bridge above the road. Question 27. This sign indicates A. A winding road ahead. B. A road with multiple lanes. C. A road with a steep incline or hill. D. A road intersection. Answer. C. A road with a steep incline or hill. Question 28. Which of these signs is a no U-turn sign? Sign A. Sign B. Sign C. Sign D. Answer. Sign A. Question 29. What does this image indicate? A. You must make a right turn at the upcoming intersection. B. You are allowed to make a right turn at the upcoming intersection. C. You should drive in any direction at the upcoming intersection. D. You must not make a right turn at the upcoming intersection. Answer. D. You must not make a right turn at the upcoming intersection. Question 30. This sign means A. You must make a left turn. B. Left turns are allowed at all times. C. Left turns are prohibited. D. Left turns are only allowed on weekends. Answer. C. Left turns are prohibited. Question 31. What does this image indicate? A. They can only make right turns ahead. B. They must turn right to exit the road. C. They can make right and left turns ahead. D. They can proceed straight or turn right. Answer. 
A. They can only make right turns ahead. Question 32. This sign indicates A. Proceed straight ahead. B. Make a U turn. C. Turn left at the upcoming intersection. D. Turn right at the upcoming intersection. Answer C. Turn left at the upcoming intersection. Question 33. This sign means A. No U turns allowed. B. U turns are permitted. C. Yield right of way. D. Stop immediately. Answer B. U turns are permitted. Question 34. What does this sign mean? A. Proceed straight or turn in any direction. B. You must turn left at the upcoming intersection. C. You must proceed straight, no turns allowed. D. You must turn right at the upcoming intersection. Answer C. You must proceed straight, no turns allowed. Question 35. This sign indicates a. Proceed with caution. B. Overtake the vehicle in front. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. D. No passing is allowed. Answer. D. No passing is allowed. Question 36. What does this sign mean? A. You must come to a complete stop. B. It's safe to pass without caution. C. Exercise caution when passing other vehicles. D. Proceed at your own discretion. Answer. C. Exercise caution when passing other vehicles.